Hey everyone, we're going to get to a level 100 in destruction pretty quickly today. Let's go ahead and look to see where we are right now for our skill. Looks like we're at 34 destruction, so we've got to level up 66 times. If you've ever played Skyrim before, you know that's a tough task in destruction to get it up to 100. So we're going to show you a quick way to do that today. Okay, right now we're in White Run, but we need to get over to Hobbs Fall Cave. Hobbs Fall Cave is between Dawnstar and Winterhold. So if you look at your map, you'll see this island over here called Yingvild. I don't know how you pronounce it. I think that's how you do. Yingvild, and you are going to travel to not this little rock past it, but right about in here somewhere. So we're going to just set our marker down. And then we are going to actually travel to Dawnstar. Once you arrive, you're going to go ahead and follow the coastline to the right. Kind of like you're headed towards the Dawnstar Sanctuary for the Dark Brotherhood. But you're going to keep going. Once you round this corner, you can kind of see where that Yingvild is. You can see Azura Shrine, that big statue on the top of the hill. And to your right, you can see the Frostflow Lighthouse. Underneath those big rocks, there's a little bit of a tunnel that leads to Hobbs Fall Cave, which is where we need to go. So we'll go ahead and land here. And now we're going to go into this cave. And we're going to fight some skeletons and some necromancers until we get what we need to get to level 100 of destruction quickly. Alright, I've got flames equipped in my left hand, and I've got Unrelenting Shock, which is a modded spell on my right hand, and I think you guys will like that one. Alright, one skeleton down. Rule of thumb here is whenever you go around the corner, you're probably going to have an enemy coming your way. Alright, there's a Necromancer down. We're going to go down this tunnel. We're getting closer to the chest that we need to access called the Ancient Spell Tome Chest, I believe it's called. I'm going to go ahead and use Unrelenting Shock, and again, it knocks down both people because it combines the effects of the Unrelenting Force Shout with Chain Lightning. So the Chain Lightning part of the spell makes it hot from one person to another. So if you have a mod like OBS that adds enemies, it can really you know, help you out. But it can also hit your friends, so you kind of have to be aware of that too. Alright, another Necromancer and Skeleton down, and we are rounding the corner. I believe this is the last Necromancer we need to defeat until we get to this main room where the Spell Tome chest is. We've got a couple of these. Oh, there's a goat. Oh, I had to set my friend with the Unrelenting Shock spell. Oh. Yeah, that's what you get for hurting me. All right. So we've cast him aside, and now we have cleared this room. There is more of the dungeon than this, and it does contain a stone of Baron Zaya. So if you want to finish that, you can. But this is what we're looking for, the ancient tome chest. This chest contains all of the new spells brought by Anniversary Edition. One of the additions they made were these elemental spells, which are kind of like the chaos effect. If you're familiar with Solstheim playthrough and uh, the Dragonborn DLC, where you can use like flames, frost, shock effects on the same spell. And if you invest in the perk tree, you can get the benefit of all three in your damage. But we need this unbounded storms tome to get to destruction quickly. This is our main event. So we're going to take all of the tomes, but then we're going to go to our inventory and we're going to go down to the tome category and we're going to read Unbounded Storms. After we've done that, we're going to go ahead and go to the magic part of our inventory and equip Unbounded Storms. You can do it with one hand or two. I'm going to go ahead and dual equip and then I'm going to save just to make sure nothing happens so we don't have to repeat this dungeon if something does. All right, now I need to find a better place to cast this thing because if you cast this spell, it has a really wide range of effectiveness on it, which means if you have like a guard or a friendly NPC nearby, then you're going to get them and then you're going to catch a bounty. And I don't want to do that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find a different location. Now you can go and complete the rest of the dungeon or you can backtrack. It doesn't really matter for this to work, but I just used unlimited fast travel, which is a mod that allows you to fast travel within um, a building. And then once I found a free space, I casted the spell. And then while I was casting it, I went ahead and opened up my menu to the map. Now, when you fast travel somewhere, it's going to give you credit like you were casting it the entire trip, which is a really long time if you think about how long it would take you to travel to one of these faraway places. But the main thing you need to remember about all of these trips are you need to get out of the way of where NPCs are so you don't catch a bounty or kill somebody you don't want to. And remember, once you have that spell charged and it's going, then you need to enter your menu while you still have your trigger down and you need to find somewhere else that's far away to travel to. Once you travel to that new location, find a spot that's away from everybody, cast the spell while it's engaged, activate your menu, find a new location that's far away, and we're checking, oh, we're almost there, we're to 99 destruction. It looks like we'll just need one more trip to get there. We'll cast it, we'll move over here to Felberg, and then we'll check, and look at that, 100 destruction. Congratulations, you've made it. If you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to get to 100, please consider liking or subscribing to my channel as it helps me get picked up and maintained by the YouTube algorithm, and it makes me want to produce more videos. Thanks, I hope you enjoyed it.